On this episode, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to avoid damaging electrical cables and various types of piping behind your wall if you plan on drilling or nailing through your wall. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So let's just say you wanna hang up a TV on your wall or you just wanna hang a picture frame. If in the bathroom, you probably wanna relocate a toilet paper dispenser somewhere there or even a picture frame. And you just wanna go and hang it up on your wall, find a stud, you're good to go. But Friends, it's not that easy and probably it's not the safest way. As you can see on my mock-up here, these are various types of things that you can possibly find behind your wall. It might not be appropriate or accurate like what this is, but this is just a, um, a mock-up. But I wanna show you the various things that are going on so you can be aware before you actually start nailing or drilling through these walls. First example, let's just say you wanna hang a TV on top of your fireplace and you're assuming, hey, it's just probably studs up there, there's no wire. I would think again because in this situation like what I'm going to show you right now behind where my TV is located there's actually an outlet back there and also wires. You can see that there is a plug for the TV to hook up with. So if you're trying to drill or mounting anything back there you already know that there's possibility that there's a wire running vertical or horizontal. Do a general observation of the wall itself if there are electrical outlets or switches around the area then there's a possibility that there are wires going through there. And if you're in the bathroom, there's already given there might be pipes, exhaust pipes going through different areas. So make sure you account to that as well. This is actually a live wire. As you can see from my voltage detector, there is voltage going through this wire. If the builder was right and they actually drilled a hole through here, let's just say the hole wasn't centered, they would put a guard plate like this. This is a nail stud guard plate. So this plate right here will prevent the person who is trying to drill through here or put a nail from getting that nail through this stud and possibly hitting that electrical cable. You don't want to assume that. You can't just rely on, you know, on, especially on older houses or especially those who are doing their own cable around the home, their own DIYers. You don't want to assume that they actually installed one of these plates. So you want to put yourself in a worst case scenario where there is not one of these and there are exposed wires back there. So let's go first with the most common one that people use, which is a stud finder slash a voltage metal detector. I'm going to put this half inch drywall on top of this piping, live electrical wire, copper pipe, metal pipe, PVC pipe so that we can determine if this stud finder with the certain types of detectors can actually detect these things and which will prove if that's an effective and safe way to actually do this. So now we have our half inch drywall installed. Let's go test out these most common ones that we are going to be using to detect the studs and the electrical and piping in there if they actually are accurate and if they are safe to do before we can actually drill through these studs or put any picture frames onto the wall. I made a separate video on comparing these two products right here. I'll leave the link on top right here if you wanna watch that video. But this is not a comparison on how to, um, which stud finder is the best. This is just a way to prove to you that if this is actually the best way to do it. Okay, so let's start off with our regular stud finder, which is just for finding studs and not anything else. This one is only good for obviously detecting the studs. It doesn't detect the PVC piping, the plumbing, no copper, no metal, just the studs. Didn't detect the PVC and that's pretty much it. This is actually good if you're just trying to hang a piece of drywall on the wall because if you are hanging a half inch or a three quarter inch drywall, you are probably gonna end up using a inch and a half drywall screw or a inch and a quarter drywall screw. The inch and a half drywall screw, let's just assume that there's a wire there and you can see that it is very close to touching the middle. And if you go with the inch and a quarter, you can see that it doesn't meet the middle. Let's see if the Zircon, the special, it's still a stud finder, but there are features in here. Let me show you that there is a stud scan a deep stud scan. So this deep scan is where you're, uh, let's just say you have a three quarter inch or a double layer of half inch drywall. This could probably work. There's a metal scan and the AC scan. Now that is very important right here, the metal scan and the AC scan. 
Let's go first start with the stud finder and let's see if that works and then we'll move along the line. Look, go move to the right. Okay, it found that stud. So notice right here, even if you have this on stud scan, detecting that there's voltage behind there, even though it can't pinpoint us where exactly that cable or wire is, which is good, even though it's on stud scan, but we'll get to that later. Okay, let's see how accurate this is and let's go to AC scan. See how accurate this thing is. So it passed that area. So do we already know that there was a, there's a piece of wire back there. Okay, let's go by really, really slow. See if it can detect it. Nope, it did not detect it. So let's assume that this wire is actually touching straight to the drywall. You can see the middle arrow, it's trying to determine it. Okay, so there it does work. Let's try it one more time. Let's put the wire right against that drywall. And it hit it, okay? I had to make this wire touch the drywall for it to work, but for the ones that are located right in the middle where the stud is, it didn't quite detect it. Not that accurate. I don't know if you want to rely on this. Maybe it's just my stud finder that's faulty, but you can try for yourself. But in my determination, that's not gonna work for me if I'm trying to go and drill or nail something behind this wall. Okay, so now we're gonna move it onto the metal scan. I know I don't have a galvanized pipe, but this is still metal. To prove to you that it's metal, here's a magnet, and there, it's, it's metal. So even that, it did not detect. Let's give it the benefit of doubt. Let's use this metal pipe, and I'm gonna have it touch. Since this pipe is right in the middle and it's floating, let's go and have this pipe touch the drywall itself and see if it can still pick it up. Okay. It did. And it did pick up that metal. It's a 50-50. I still don't think that this is the most reliable on trying to find if anything is behind there. And one thing that it didn't detect, it didn't detect the plumbing. It didn't detect the plastic PVC pipes which is not a good thing because you might assume, hey, it's clear back there. But in reality, there's a lot of things back here that this thing did not catch. So this still is not a reliable way to figure out before you start drilling or nailing. So you're probably saying, okay, Jay, so since the stud finder, the AC, the metal finder doesn't work, how am I supposed to drill or nail through my wall without being paranoid of hitting a live wire, plumbing, a gas pipe or anything like that. I have a perfect solution and the safest way for you. It might require a little bit of patchwork after, but it's the most safest and I think the most effective way to do this before doing any type of drilling or nailing. And that is by using this endoscope. It's Wi-Fi. It is powered. You can see it through your smartphone and it has a light at the end. So when you turn it on, insert this through your wall, there is a camera right there and it's a light and this is actually a very stiff, this is not um, a string or anything, it's actually a wire where you can bend it and form it in different types of angles that you can find. And it is about an inch and a half by, um, let's just say a quarter inch diameter hole. I actually downloaded the app right here. All I gotta do is click that and it will open up and you have to sign up for it and it's very easy to do. Right when you press it, notice how you can see everything with this thing. So let's just say we wanna drill, put our lag bolt through here so we can hang our TV. Like what I said, the Franklin stud finder is the best for finding the stud. So what I'm gonna do so that I can maneuver this from side to side is I'm gonna go about three inches away from my actual place that I wanna do. I'm not gonna worry about the hole to begin with because this is gonna get covered up with the TV anyways, and I'm gonna show you how to patch up the hole later on. Take your 5 16th drill bit. That should be enough and wide enough for this thing to go through. This is very important. You don't wanna go and drill right through this. You just wanna drill through the drywall itself. Now this will require steady hands. 
Okay, so you're just gonna drill really, really soft and very slow. Okay, don't put too much pressure because if you do, if you go too fast and you finally go through the drywall, you're gonna boom, hit that wire or hit that pipe and that will pretty much defeat the purpose of why we are using this. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so what I did was I just put the drill and wiggled it around like that. A tip to do this is actually make this into a shape like this. It's kind of like a S and it goes back down again. The reason for this is so when we insert it, we can actually turn it like this easily. You're gonna go insert it and you're gonna turn it like that so it's facing the stud. Okay, and then you're gonna go observe the stud itself. So you're gonna move it around. You can kind of tell which where is the, the wall is at. So right there. And I would take my time and go look around what's going on, okay? So you're gonna go move around. That's at the top area. See right here, this is the top. You can see my hand. We came across this yellow. So we already know there's a piece of cable. What you can do now is try to trace where that cable is running from. So you're gonna go try to spot where that cable is running through. See that it goes down. So this, this piece of cable is running through that stud and let's determine where it stops. Okay, right there. So we already know that it's up here somewhere. You might say, hey, you know, Jay, this is probably, you know, it's not as accurate as it is. You don't even know where the hole is. At least we know for a fact that there is a cable running through this stud. If this was clear and if there was nothing behind there, then we wouldn't, you, we would be okay because we would know that there is no cable behind there. Now you can actually turn this around the other way and there that you can see that you, there is a piece of pipe back there as well and other pieces of pipe which is the which is the copper pipe and the metal pipe and there's actually another piece of wire going through the, that stud on the other side. You can see that there's a copper pipe, a metal pipe and there's actually another um, penetration through there with the cable. If you're interested on this product and all the tools that I use on this video, I'll leave this on the link down below. You can click on that quick link if you're interested on getting one of these. I definitely love using this when I'm drilling through my wall and making sure there's multiple ways of using this. There's many uses for this. You can use this for automotive. You can use this for going down the piping if there's any clogs. There's actually an attachment hook that you can attach on the end of this so that when you're trying to go through a hole, you can pull that item out while you can see it with the camera. There's also a magnet end where if you drop something in the hole, you can grab it and pull it out with this thing. So this is, there's so, so many uses with this endoscope and for, it's, it's not that expensive and it's very, very useful. You're probably wondering, okay, now I have this half inch hole. What am I gonna do? This is actually okay to have because this is gonna be get covered with your TV or your uh, picture frame anyways, but you still wanna cover the hole. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this dry dex. This is actually great spackling right here. It's actually pink, but when it dries, it turns white. Okay, little putty knife. You're gonna go and clean out the surface real well. A piece of this, and you're gonna just go patch that area right there. This endoscope right here is the most safest and the best way to find out if what's ever behind your wall. If you're trying to do some drilling or nailing, I, I think this is the best way, in my opinion, to figure out if you have plumbing, wiring, gas pipes, or anything behind there before you start even drilling or nailing through any type of drywall or any type of wall that you have. This is a very handy tool. I'll leave the link on how to get this on the description down below. Go check it out, try it out for yourself. And if you don't like it, you can always return it. But I highly suggest and that you have this on your toolbox. Hopefully you found this video helpful and found value and makes you want to think twice before actually drilling or nailing to your wall. If you did find value to it and you found it very helpful, please support the channel. Hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video. Thanks so much. Have a good day.